From 5 eighths of an inch to 3 inches plus, how much steel does it take to stop a 50 BMG? More specifically, how much steel does it take to stop an M2 armor piercing 50 BMG? Which we'll be answering after we figure out how much steel it takes to stop a standard ball round. I mean, I'm hoping that it can at least make it through 5 eighths of an inch. Especially out of this Desert Tech HTI, because hidden underneath this badass looking chassis lies a 29 inch barrel, just like you'd see on most Barretts, except in a lot more compact package. I mean, even with the suppressor, it's shorter than a lot of Barretts, but anyway, this absolute beast of a setup is currently being used by Ukrainian snipers as an anti-material rifle. And if you're wondering what this nice little welt is right here, I got scoped. At first freaking shot with the rifle, I didn't expect that much recoil, so I didn't have it tight enough against my shoulder, and bam, right on the forehead. At least it didn't cut me up too bad, but there is a nice welt. Guys, some random pack of dogs came out here. Just be careful out there. Okay, well, the dog is really eager to see it as well. Let's just check out and see what happened with that plate. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice having a dog around. <laughs> it just scared the shit out of me whenever they walked up. Always be armed, though, guys. Holy shit. Five eighths of an inch. Yes, I see you, pooch. Five eighths of an inch. Would you quit licking me? Five eighths of an inch stopped a freaking 50... BMG and there is a projectile right there. My gosh. I don't believe that just stopped about 12,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Let me try that one more time. And just because I don't know if the railroad ties had anything to do with it, let's break out a brand new slit. Well, not a brand new slit. I originally designed this one for armor plates, but as you could tell, I have not been testing armor plates really at all lately. So let's eliminate the backdrop there. I don't know how long this dog is gonna stick around, but uh, what should we name him? Wait, how do you know it's a him? You'll just have to trust me. And there's our second shot. So it definitely was not the railroad tie. It is literally right next to the first shot. And both projectiles are staring right at us. Let's check out the back though and see if there was any more damage potentially. My freaking gosh, just a slightly bigger gouge here. The, uh... sorry, the dog is right in my face, I can't. Oh, I can't think with this dog in my face. There is a slightly bigger crack on here, but really not that much of a difference. You know, that could be the difference in velocity between the two cartridges. That is freaking nuts. That didn't take long. I just wonder if any of the other monstrous cartridges that are offered as barrel conversions for the HTI could make it through more steel than this. Actually, I might have to try that out at a later point since, you know, they're super easy to swap out. But anyway, I guess that means we need to jump to the main attraction, AP-50 BMG, specifically M2 AP, which is probably Probably the most common armor piercing 50 BMG offering. Coming out around the World War II time frame, the technology inside this bullet isn't exactly cutting edge, but this 700 grain bullet is still an absolute beast featuring a massive hard, extremely hard steel core on the inside. So hopefully it's ready to penetrate three quarters of an inch. Although with the start we're off to, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> The good thing about the plate falling over every time is that I can't see what happens, so uh, let us see what happened. And by us, I mean this dog and I, whatever we decide to name him. The bad thing about the plate falling over, though, is that we can see exactly what happened. Terry, I told you not to freaking spoil anything. What do you mean it went through? My gosh, it definitely went straight through, and that is the biggest clean hole I have ever seen through three quarters of an inch. Let's check out the pinky to actually probably more of a thumb hole to, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can deal with those results. This won't be the absolute shortest video of my life. At least the armor piercing can make it through three quarters of an inch pretty easily, but it better be able to make it through more. My gosh, that looks freaking terrible. And our next step up is adding exactly a quarter inch to that last amount with a one inch mild steel plate. We're starting to get into absolute beast territory. And the only reason we're stepping it up a full quarter inch is because seven eighths of an inch is uh, relatively hard to find. I would think an inch would be easy, but I also thought the 5 eighths of an inch would be super easy for this freaking uh, the ball round. So who knows what's going to happen. Come on, pooch! Quit pouncing on stuff, it's time to get your butt over here! Oh, what a slow dog. Hey, here's one of my very few water bottles for you. Go ahead and drink. Look, look! There, there's water! It's hot as shit out here. There's water right there.
I don't know if you saw the 338 Lapua video or not, but the Defcan 8.6 that I was running on there actually reduced the recoil. This one, though, I swear amplifies the freaking recoil. I mean, I don't know how many more shots I can actually take with this rifle without the muzzle brake. Let us see what ha It didn't go through. Terry, I thought I just told you no more freaking spoilers. And what is your scoliosis getting worse? My God, it's almost like you're sitting on your side. What is going on with you? Anyway, let's... Terry, I told you no more spoilers. You just spoiled it for us. It did not go through. But let us check out what happened on the front here. And oh, whoa, I guess that's the uh, penetrator right there. That's surprising though, because it looks very similar to the ball rounds, what they did on the 5 8 inch plate. Oh, that is uh, pretty disappointing news. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Let's try that one more time and we'll see if we get a better result. Come on, you're only three quarters of the way there. No, don't lay down. Oh my gosh. Terry, remember our little deal, and uh, Pooch is in it now too, so you cannot break that contract. Anyway, let's see what ha Ooh, wait, what is this? What is, is this a freaking core? There's no way that could be the core though, because it flattened out like a mushroom. Let's do, holy shit, holy shit. Shit, I think I was scammed. I mean, there's no way that that's an M2 armor piercing projectile. Let's check out what it did on the plate here, though. But there is no way that that one is an M2 armor piercing projectile. Uh, I guess this will be our telltale sign, though. And oh my freaking gosh, that was definitely just a ball route. Like the one that we shot on the three quarter inch, obviously that was an M2 armor piercing. It went straight through three quarters of an inch where the ball rounds could not. But what the hell is that? <sighs> Let's try that one more time and we'll see how many rounds these sons of bitches. I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just hoping it did a little better. The one good thing is I don't think I'm seeing any new mushrooms out here besides that one from the last round, but uh, you know, I could be missing it as well. Let's check out the plate. Obviously it did not go through. Pretty tight little cluster here and let's check. I don't know the hardness of the M2 penetrator off the top of my head, but I would think it could do a lot better job than that. Right now I am freaking thinking I got scammed. There's only one more piece of steel that I can think of to test to see if this truly was a scam or not. And that is a a half inch piece of AR-550 steel. Guys, this one glances bullets off. I mean, not these two down here, but it glances regular bullets off. And uh, TA Targets actually says that their AR-550 half inch is rated for 50 BMG ball rounds, not at the distance I'm gonna be shooting at. But if this truly is an M2 armor piercing, it should probably go through this and the ball round should not. So let's start off with the ball round, a known ball round, and then we'll jump up to the uh, M2 armor piercing. I'm really hoping it proves me wrong. Come on, come on, Pooch, come on, get out of the way. To save his ear, wherever he is, uh, to save his ears and probably mine, I decided to keep the suppressor on there, although it is not saving my shoulder. Holy shite balls. Really not a bad dog, I just don't know why the hell they're running around the property. Like I mentioned, TA Targets does not recommend 50 BMG ball rounds at 50 yards on their targets, but uh, my gosh, it held together wonderfully. I mean, I barely even feel a freaking dimple. Absolutely nothing else on the plate right here. Wait, what do you mean you were injured, Terry? Oh, you're just being a baby. Let me check out the front of you. Yeah, there's uh, really not any new marks on the front of you, Terry. Let's check out the... Oh, okay, now I see what you're talking about. Terry, uh, you're just gonna have to be a little more careful where you stand. Let's see what that M2 armor piercing round does. And uh, don't say I didn't warn you, Terry. This should be the determining factor as to whether I got scammed or not. Fingers crossed, but I'm not too hopeful. Just to show you for sure what I'm working with, let's load it in there and we will see what happens. I swear if these damn things are a scam, then I'll have 35 of these stupid things sitting around the house. Entering the jungle, the hungry pooch is off to something I don't see what he's after. I hear him panting, I just don't see him. I hope he's not ready to pounce on me. <laughs> Turn on the old banana. <laughs> Oh, things are not looking good. It looks like I was probably scammed. Let's check out the front though and, s oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. The exact same dimple as the uh, ball round right there. But how about that AR-550 TA target gog? I mean, 50 BMG at 50 yards, two rounds, no holes, no cracks, no nothing. My gosh, if you want a target that'll last through basically anything, banana 10 saves 10% and method number two, which is far simpler, especially 
especially if you don't have that much steel, is pull the bullet out of the case, which I don't have the right equipment to do that, so this isn't the prettiest job in the world, but it should weigh right around 700 grain. Okay, pretty much right around 700 grains, so that part's good. Something just isn't adding up. I don't know if there's another 700 grain ball around that I'm just not aware of, or if the 700 grain M2 armor piercing projectiles just lost their heat treat somehow during the remanufacturing process. I don't even know if that's likely, so let me know if I'm missing something. But I do have two authentic M2 armor piercing rounds, both of them being loaded in 1943, so we know they're the real deal. Thank you so much, DMAX Tactical, for making these possible. And now we can finally get our answer on how much steel an M2 armor piercing round can go through. And because we only have two to shoot, I think we'll just step it up to an inch and a half plate and that way oh shit that is heavy we can either step it up or down from there depending on what happens but i didn't just make this two hour 45 minute drive for nothing so it better go through at least an inch and a half if it knows what's good for it oh do i have to <laughs> just do it already oh fine There we go, that's the velocity I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, the dog is not out here, at least currently. No, I don't want to hear a word out of you anyway. What happened? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there is the tip poking up. Just like the dog. Whoa, obviously it did not go through an inch and a half, but uh, that is much better than anything we've seen so far. If we can get, okay, there's the base of the projectile right there, the uh, armor penetrator. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the other ones were definitely not M2 armor piercing, or like I said, they might have lost their heat treat or something this tip is still sharp as shit after going through well not going through an inch and a half that was just good enough performance to not make me completely upset for making the trip all the way out here but if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing it would make the trip extra worth it and uh, i also have some shirts available if you wanted to check those out but anyway let's see if we bump it down to an inch and a quarter if that last m2 armor piercing round can go through that i will actually be very upset if it doesn't make it through this though I don't know if that came up on camera or not, but something came back and smacked into my shield with a ton of force. Holy shit. Holy shit, that is hot. This giant piece of jacket... Can't even hold on to it. This giant piece of jacket came back and hit right where my nuts would be if I didn't have this shield right here. Do not try this at home. Guess we should see if it did anything here. Oh, okay. Well, at least it didn't hit my camera either. I mean, that had to be most of the jacket hitting me way back there. Anyway, does that mean it went through? The oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that nice, clean hole right there. Holy shit. And well, don't mean, no pun intended. Holy shite balls. Check out that freaking massive hole let me check it out with the pink oh yeah oh yeah thumb test yeah not the best thumb test sorry guys these bugs are going nuts well that answers that and i am one happy banana i would show you but you know but we're on youtube not just kidding <laughs> i'm not that happy anyway let's try not to imagine what would happen if that jacket sliced into me or at least i'm trying not to imagine that and remember don't let ballistics drive you bananas go 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 Oh my gosh. <sighs>